Pretty big week ahead of us here because employment last Friday got bonds moving again and some follow through here today for the dollar and yields. Markets moving through it though as we continue to ride big tax coattails. Here's what I'm watching this week. Firstly, a lot of yellow still here because the charts, I think, remain fairly undetermined for bonds, dollar, crypto, stocks very clearly still trending higher, though. So for a lot of investors, as long as NVIDIA keeps churning out gains, then you're in pretty good shape on the index level. Participation, breadth, and the rest of the stuff depends on how the economic data go as well as the Fed's commentary, which should probably err a little bit more on the hawkish side, especially compared to what we saw from the rest of central banks last week. That dollar likely to remain pretty well within the range. The thing, too, is that a lot of these just have been range bound. For stocks, though, I'm actually watching two companies in particular. One is Apple to see how we follow through after today's event. We got all the way back to almost 200 bucks to try and break out, and there's some rejection. Is this just a touch and go and we continue to run higher in Apple or is this a real rejection? I think that's going to matter a lot. The other stock I'm actually watching is AMD because Advanced Micro early on was getting the same NVIDIA bid. Hasn't been that way for months. And I suspected that when NVIDIA split, you might see AMD coming under pressure because folks were using it as a proxy to trade a cheaper version of NVIDIA, even though the two are really nothing alike in terms of where they are competitively right now. Of course, there was a negative note out on AMD as well, so who knows if it's the NVIDIA split drawing attention away from AMD as a cheaper alternative or it's because of that analyst note. Keep watching AMD because if it rolls over, then that tells you that there still is going to be a tough road to hoe for the AI trade outside NVIDIA because keep in mind, we've seen a little bit of a breakdown. So within that whole sector, I'm also watching Bitcoin. Getting messages about risk taking appetite isn't just the job of AI trades right now. It's also the crypto market. Can we get an actual breakout? Bitcoin's been toying with the highs. Hasn't been able to do it, though. And for Bitcoin, new highs when you're on the very furthest end of risk taking spectrum. Bitcoin is the message that will give us indications of animal spirits, everything style rally or rejection. And I think it still does that pretty well. So if Bitcoin can't get through to a fresh new high here, then it probably tells us the breadth of the market generally and risk appetite will be limited. Now, it doesn't have to be bad for stocks, of course, but oftentimes the two still generally move in the same swings. The dollar is what I'll be watching a little bit more closely than bonds this week as far as the macro goes. That dollar move from last week was just quite a doozy. Look at the wick that you had there that cut below the May lows. So the dollar really looked like it was about to roll over, which was bizarre, of course, given the context of other central banks being much more dovish than the Fed. Market changed its mind on that pretty quick when it saw jobs last week. So the U-turn slingshot in the dollar seems like it's got some potential to keep moving. The level I want to watch for the dollar is basically if you take a diagonal line from the bottom left of that chart and connect it to the higher lows. We broke down through that trend, but as the dollar is pushing back up now, it's trying to get back into that trend, which is roughly, I would say, around 105 spot six or so. So if the dollar can re-enter its old up trend by getting just a little bit higher from here, 105 spot six, seven, I think that tells you the dollar uptrend might be back on. And it could uh, give us an answer as to whether Bitcoin's going to break out whether or not we're going to get a broad market rally or just one that depends on a few companies. Should be a fun week. Thanks for tuning in to Market on Close. I will see you tomorrow morning. Have a great night.